Hello, I hope you've enjoyed our Advent series. Uh, it's a pleasure to conclude our time together uh, as we enter in and to this point of celebration of, of Christ's coming. Um, and I know we've structured this in a way that maybe is a little bit non-traditional. And so I'm gonna go to a, a place that's maybe a little bit non-traditional in, uh, in my reflections uh, around Christmas and this time of Advent. The theme for this particular Advent talk is anything is possible with Christ. And as I thought about that, uh, my mind went specifically to a passage in uh, in First Timothy, and when we when we celebrate celebrate Christmas, when we're celebrating Advent, what we're celebrating is the coming of Christ, Christ coming to Earth, and Mary giving birth to Jesus in Bethlehem, and all that transpired with Emmanuel, God with us. And um, and there's a passage in uh, in First Timothy where Paul is addressing Timothy and helping him think through what it means to be a leader of this church in Ephesus. And he makes this statement, he says, he says, this is a trustworthy saying that deserves full acceptance, Timothy. Christ came to the earth. That's what we're celebrating at Christmas, Christ coming to the earth. He says, to, and this is where we get to the purpose of why he came, he came to the earth to save sinners of whom I'm chief. And it's, it's extraordinary to look how Paul describes himself. He, this is what he says about himself. He says, even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was poured out on me abundantly along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. And then that's when he makes that statement. So here's this trustworthy saying, Timothy that deserves full acceptance. Christ came to the earth. It's Christmas, it's Emmanuel, it's God with us. Why? To save sinners of whom I'm chief. And then he talks about then the power of transformation of any, again, this idea that anything is possible with God. He says, but it's for that reason that I, again, the, the chief of sinners in Paul's mind was shown mercy so that in me, the worst of sinners, Christ Jesus might display his unlimited patience as an example for those who would believe on him and receive eternal life. As we celebrate Christmas, what we're celebrating is Jesus coming to earth, but let's also celebrate the purpose of his coming to earth, to save sinners. And, and I think it's a healthy exercise for us to consider Paul's perspective of seeing himself as the chief of sinners. I think it's important for me to consider all that Christ has done to, to cover over the multitude of my sins so that I can be thankful and I can appreciate with the, the great depth and length and, and breadth of God's love that covers over my own sins. Christ came to save sinners, but that means me specifically. And so then as I celebrate the coming of Christ, I can celebrate and I can be thankful that he has taken all of the horrible things that I've done and he's changed them and he's forgiven them so that my transformed life can show other people the grace and the mercy and the love of Jesus Christ. So Merry Christmas will celebrate that our God can do things above and beyond what we can even hope and imagine, even taking somebody like Paul or taking somebody like me, transforming our lives by forgiving our sins and then using us even within our brokenness to show his love and mercy to the world. Merry Christmas.